Hello, I got this little video camera a while ago, about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks or so, and this was not really the kind of thing that I was expecting to be making a video about. In fact, I was kind of expecting to just open the box and use it for a bit and then throw it in the trash almost, um, because last time I got something of this uh, grade or this sort of price range, uh, this is the camera that I'm talking about here. It's about um, for 14 dollars or so there marked down from 16 but these prices especially Gearbest but also Banggood they these prices are just all over the place in fact this the price that they mark it down from is kind of bullshit really it's just they just seem to make it up I think anyway so it's 14.29 and last time I bought something like this was I think it was this one I got actually got it from Amazon but um, it appears to be the same product and this thing was just complete crap in fact, the the best thing about it was I found it had a, a nice little one cell lipo inside. So I pulled the lipo out and pretty much did just throw this in the trash almost as soon as I got it. Um, so I wasn't expecting too much more from this one, um, but it turned out to be pretty good. So I think I'm just going to put this in my car and use it as a dash cam, which is um, one of the features that it does and is actually very, very good at. Um, in fact, I have another page open here, and when I looked at my order, I, I actually only paid ten dollars for this because, again, the prices are all over the place. So it was twelve fifty nine that day, and then I used some points to to get it down to that point. Um, so I guess you can look at that page to see that yourself. Um, there's actually quite a lot of people have bought this, and you can see it's got fairly good ratings there. Uh, 177 and there's lots and lots of reviews there and there are also lots and lots of videos already <laughs> which kind of makes me not really want to make my own when I see this many but I thought I would I'll do it anyway I took some took some videos and most of the the focus of my video is just to show you what kind of video you can expect to get from this uh, so looking around the side here we have a micro SD card goes in the side um, there's no click click sort of a function it just sort of slides in and holds in by friction but seems to be right there is a very small USB plug of a type that I'm not really familiar with there's a reset button which I unfortunately actually had to use um, so it's not not just a, it's not a perfect camera it has its faults but uh, on the whole it's pretty good uh, there is an on off button and a mode button um, so there are two video modes and one photo mode so it's a little bit like the Mobius in that respect and nothing on that side and then on the front we have what I presume is a microphone and then camera lens and then there are four very weak infrared LEDs on the front and you can turn those on to actually film in the pitch black although at only at very close range and then on the bottom there's nothing much uh, and nothing on the back. There's just these things here are for a clip, little clippy thing that you can fit around the camera like that to um, clip it onto stuff like your finger or something else. And there is also another corrugated sort of a um, swivelly mount thing that you can get that you can makes it quite easy to stick onto the windscreen of your car, which I presume is what it's for. Um, and it took me quite a while to figure out the modes of this. I actually had to read the instructions quite carefully. I'll just put these here so you can um, pause the video maybe and get a look at that if you want to read it um, at your leisure. Hopefully I'm covering it all. Um, but I'll, I'll go over what I've figured out. The rest, rest, other side is Chinese. So, um, yeah, a, a little bit like the Mobius in that you turn it on. Um, I have the card empty here so I just want to show you one what happens when there's no card in. So you hold hold this on off button down for I think two seconds or so. You get a flashing light which is um, and then it just turns off so if you see that it means you need to put a card in so I'll put a card in and then um, I'll try that again so hold down for about two seconds or so and it actually flashed there I think, hold on a second to turn it off you hold it down for six seconds I think so I'm holding it down 
Uh, you can't see it very well there, but yeah, so six seconds to turn it off. See if I can. There's, there is actually a little bit of purpley light. There's a red LED and a blue LED inside, and they they both turn on at the same time to give you purple. Oh, you can't see it very well, unfortunately. But anyway, um, once it's turned on, you get a solid blue light, and that means you're in 720p, 30 frames per second video mode. If I can get this to focus. God damn. All right. Uh, and so from that point, you just click once to start recording. It'll flash three times, and then it will turn off. Uh, so this is a little bit... Um, not that great because there's nothing to look at to let you know that you're actually recording you just have to know that you push the button to start so then one more click will um, put it back into standby mode and from there we can use the mode button to change that's actually purple now though it might not look like it in the video and when it's in purple you are in <laughs> ostensibly 1080p 15 frames per second mode although it's pretty crap and I don't think it's any more than 720p really plus it stretches the picture so it's not not very good at all that mode uh, and then if we hit the mode button again one more time we get just a red light and that will be photo mode and they they're calling it a 12 megapixel photo but of course you know it's not uh, so I'll so show you some of the photos later but anyway we can take a photo like that it just goes off and then comes back on again um, so that's that's the f those are the filming modes and I'll push it one more time to get back into 720p 30 mode and to turn these LEDs on at the front I found that you can actually see them in the webcam so they're off at the moment I can't see them with my naked eye of course but to turn those on you hold the on off button down for I think two seconds and you'll see a little bit of flashing and now when we turn it on you'll see that those LEDs are on but like I say they're very weak I, I don't I have no idea what this would be useful for it's wouldn't um, wouldn't even cast light further than about one meter from from what I've seen uh, and then to turn that off you hold the on off button down for three seconds Or did I just start recording a video? See, this is the thing. It's it's kind of confusing. I might have just turned the camera off. Let's see what this does. I think I might have just turned it off. Oh, well. It, yeah, it's a bit confusing with these lights. But fortunately, the uh, dash cam function is very, very good. And you don't need to mess with any of those buttons at all, ever. You never need to touch any of these buttons if you just want to buy this and use it as a dash cam. Uh, all you have to do is plug in this cable into a 5 volt power source. I use the cigarette lighter in my car, which um, fortunately it doesn't turn on until I turn the ignition on in my car and then the cigarette lighter power powers up. And that's perfect because, uh, so the other end of course is one of these little plugs that go into the side of the camera. Yeah, oh, whatever. Um, so that goes in there. And then, <clears throat> yeah, so that's it. Just put a put an SD card in, plug that in and mount it on your dashboard or your windscreen somewhere. Put that into your cigarette lighter in your car. And then you'll turn your car on and it'll start filming. And it will take five minute clips. And uh, there's no overlap, but there is a very, um, like you don't lose any video. Uh, it's very fast cut, uh, cutting between each file, so you're not losing any any image, any video. Um, and then you turn the car off, and because it has a battery inside it, it's um, you don't need any of this super cap thing like you, you, you need for Mobius. And it stores everything, and I've tested on a 16 gig card. I uh, did quite a long trip. I went down to Tokoroa and saw those guys, and I recorded all the way there, all the way back. It got pretty warm, but not you know nothing to be too concerned about I don't think and it correctly uh, looped over when the card got full it uh, started erasing the older files exactly as it should 
So everything works really good there. Um, so that's what I'm going to keep using it as. You may have noticed another plug on here, and this was not so good. This basically didn't work at all. So the idea is that you're supposed to be able to um, connect this to a live video feed or video monitor and see what the camera's seeing in real time. Um, but I wouldn't even bother. It, I, it sort of worked a little bit. It seemed like there might be a bit of a bad connection in this plug here. Uh, and then I fiddled around with it a bit, and then I fiddled around with this end. And somewhere along the way, uh, I got it into a state where I had to use the the reset button there to get it to work again. So um, yeah, if you're expecting to use this video out, uh, don't buy this camera. Um, um, and there was something else I was going to mention. Oh yeah, so it seems to to be the way it works is that when you have this in here and you plug when you plug the USB into something that has um, some intelligent USB data transferring capability, like a a computer or maybe a, a laptop, uh, I mean a, a um, tablet with USB on the go or something like that, something that knows how to talk to the camera it will not do the automatic dash cam style recording it will just open itself up as a USB disk uh, so you can actually play the videos directly off the camera or off the card in the camera like this using this as the card reader in a sense um, so you don't need to take the card out and you know put it into a separate card reader or anything uh, it works quite well like that which is more than I can say for my Runcam original Runcam HD original that is um, but if the thing that you plug this into is just a dumb, like just a power only, like in the car, the cigarette lighter in the car, it only has power, it doesn't have any communication um, feature, then it will start doing the dash cam recording, um, which is perfect. So I thought that was a pretty good, pretty good way to have things working. So I think I've said about all I need to say there. Um, I think for the 10 bucks I paid, it was well worth it. Um, you wouldn't want to. I don't know if I'd want to pay. Well, they. What was the real price? I actually saw this um, normal, <laughs> in double quotes, normal price at twenty nine ninety nine at one point, and that twenty nine ninety nine is starting to get to the point where I don't know if I would buy it. Uh, twenty bucks, I think it's worth twenty five. Yep, twenty nine. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so let's have a look at some of the video and the photos that I got using this camera over the last week or so. Uh, a couple of things I forgot to mention. 27 grams is what the weight of that is. Uh, I have not tried opening it up. I don't think I'll bother. But there is a screw there that you can open it up with. And the other thing I was going to say was that it feels quite nice. It doesn't feel like a crappy little piece of junk. And in case it's not obvious from looking at it, it's actually a metallic case. It's not, at least I think it is, pretty sure it is. Um, it's not a cheap, plastic, nasty sort of a feeling case. It's um, it's just quite nice to hold, or look at, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like junk, so that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, on with the uh, photos. Okay, I figured out how all the modes work now, so I thought I'd just do a quick, uh, just a very simple test walking around the backyard. I'm standing out of the wind at the moment, but as you can see it's fairly windy, so we might have to deal with some wind. I just wanted to see how, how much the wind affects on this microphone. Um, and it is partially cloudy, but the sun seems to be coming through fairly well most of the time. Uh, so we're not really going to have to deal with too much dark, dark scenes. I might do a little bit of filming at twilight some other time. And I'm just trying to keep talking as much as I can so that I can clip this video at any point and there'll be some talking that I can um, include on it. And I'm, I'm just talking at normal conversation volume and my mouse is about six inches away from the back of the camera. It's not a bad day actually. Is that grass dry? I think it is dry. Might, might try my, uh, my new plane out today. Anyway, how's the lemon tree going?
Look at this lemon tree. This thing is crazy, man. There's so many lemons on here. I've taken um, a, a full supermarket bag full of lemons off already. Took it give give to my mum and my sister, and it's, it didn't even make a dent. And this is all the more amazing when you look at the base of this tree and you see. All right. Okay. Oh, what the hell is this? Um, geez, this is all sharp. You see there, it's missing. See what I mean? Like half of the tree trunk, there's nothing there. <laughs> Looks like there was a big branch here that broke off maybe. So all of that energy and all of that delicious lemon fruit is coming up through half of this trunk. Even this part is all sort of eaten through and falling apart. So I don't know how this tree does it, but it sure does it. Look at this. <laughs> Alright, so I'm filming in 720p 30 at the moment. I uh, should have mentioned that at the beginning. Um, it's probably enough, so let's go and try uh, 1080p 15 will be the next mode. Well, <laughs> finally managed to get it into 1080p mode. It's a little bit fiddly. You, you really got to be carefully watching what the LED is doing on the back. And when you are recording, all the lights go off. So it's the same situation as when the camera is off. So it's a little bit unsettling to think that you might not actually be recording anything at all because there's no confirmation anyway this is 1080p 15 frames per second I'm just going to mute the audio because the audio is no different and let me talk over this for a moment uh, I have uploaded this video in 720p 30 because uh, I didn't really f want to render the whole video in 1080p just so that I could show you this little sequence so just take my word for it, you don't get any more detail than you do in 720p. And although it may not be obvious to you, because this is my backyard and I look at it all the time, as soon as I saw this video I could see that it was squashed vertically. It's It's been stretched out to the sides too much. Um, I'll show you a, f a little clip side by side of video looking at the exact same point uh, a little bit later and you'll be able to see what I mean about how it gets squashed. Now here are some still photos that I took, and it does make a 12 megapixel sized file, but um, once again, it doesn't really give you the real 12 megapixels, it doesn't have that kind of a sensor, obviously. Uh, so it's a bit of a bullshit thing, I, I guess. Um, so once again, I haven't made any effort to show you the full resolution that these pictures have. Obviously I've put them side by side with another picture because I wanted to also take this opportunity to show you what the real colors should look like. So the image on the right is taken with my cell phone, that's a Samsung Galaxy S3, and it does a much better job of getting the colors correct. Probably a little bit too saturated still, but um, definitely way better than the colors that are coming from this little dash cam thingy. Outside at night now, I have a, a flashlight stuck onto my head, and it has four strengths, so that's what they call Firefly mode, I think. And then there's that mode, which is about normal. And then there's two modes past that, which are really quite bright. So this throws light probably about 60, 80 meters or so, quite easily. Um, so this should give you an idea of what it's going to look like in the headlights of the car. Oh, there goes a snail and his family. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, that's the tree over there. God, there's snails everywhere. That's the tree. Lemon trees. Alright, I think, I think I'm recording with the infrared lights on at the moment. Let me just turn the flashlight on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So that's with the very small LEDs on the front of the camera 
turned on, so I can't see anything. I can't see anything at all here. Nothing. <laughs> um, but you can probably see something, and I'm just pointing it at the lawnmower to give you an idea of how far it goes, because it doesn't go very far. And if we come over here, we'll see a um, bench full of mesh and some tools. And somewhere on here there is a, a ruler. Here it is. So that this is a 30 centimeter or about 12 inches ruler. So you can maybe get an idea of how far the light is going. So that's about the front of the ruler there. It's uh, 6 inches or so in front of the camera. And I tried this before and I noticed that the light didn't go very far at all. Um, so this should give you a bit of an idea how far it goes. I pointed over in the distance, you probably can't see anything much at all. Wait a minute, there is something over there. What is it? <laughs> Hello. I can see the uh, the lights just very faintly, so that's confirmation that it's filming at least. I'd hate to be standing out here in the pitch black in the garage talking to a camera for no reason. The other thing that's quite funny about that is how your eyes go, isn't it? Okay, that's enough of the silly zombie impersonations. Well, let's get on to the main course of, well, for me is the main course, uh, the drive cam footage. Um, so here's some footage from a sunny day, or should I say a funny day. I'm just sort of saying some random shit to um, see how well voices inside the car are recorded by this microphone. God, what's it doing? Come on. Let's go. Yep, okay. <laughs> There's my song. So as you could probably guess from the way it performs when the sun was shining into the camera, it does not perform very well in dark situations either. This is um, this is sort of late twilight and under street lights. And unfortunately I mounted the camera a little bit different on this day and it was kind of wobbling a little bit too so that doesn't, doesn't help. But you can see it doesn't do very well in dark scenes. And here's a scene that is well after twilight now, it's, it's actually proper night time and there's no street lights or anything here, this is a country road with um, you know, no lights and as you can see it's uh, not really much good at all in this kind of situation. So it seems like it's mostly only useful during the daytime and even then only in bright situations where the sun isn't too much facing into the camera. Uh, another thing that you might be interested in for a camera like this is how close you can read the number plates of another car and in this frame here you can see that at this distance we cannot actually read the number plate on that car in the opposite lane there 
uh, until I fast forward a few frames and uh, just as it's sort of going out of the view uh, it's finally close enough to read and this looks like about 20 meters or so away which is not that great really I suppose but it's better than nothing and for the price I think it's not too bad so there you go there's a few samples that should give you an idea of what to expect from this little camera I'm going to be mounting it in my car in a little bit more of a permanent way than I have so far and I'll just keep it in there and yeah just leave it in there until something interesting happens I guess it's sort of a nice thing that you can just put in there and forget because uh, it has worked so well so far as far as the like turning on and recording and the looping and the overriding of old files and everything it works pretty good um, one thing I do worry about a little bit is that it has a lipo battery inside and one of the things about putting a Mobius in your car as a dash cam was that the lithium polymer battery in there uh, in the hot summer days was not a good idea it might overheat or something so I'm not sure about that and it is it does actually say lithium polymer battery as well so it's not it's not definitely not anything else interesting they also say 100 minutes working time which is probably not true um, and that's another thing that I sh probably should mention because a lot of people watching my channel are into quadcopters and radio control planes and stuff and they might be thinking that this would be good to stick on a plane and record from um, it would work sure but I I just don't really think that this hundred minutes time that they can that they claim here is anything near realistic 200 million hours it says you think you could record 720p 30 video for a hundred minutes on a 200 million power one cell battery I doubt it anyway uh, so yeah, you could put it on a on a quad cut or something, but I I don't think you'd get much um, time from it. Um, so I didn't <laughs> actually I didn't try to see how long it would run on the battery. Maybe I should have done that before I started doing this video, but it wasn't really something I was um, thinking that this camera would be good for. So um, if I do that, I will add an annotation over the video at this point. Probably I won't do it, but because <laughs> it's going to be permanently in my car anyway. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.